Hi everyone, Shirtlad here, and uh, yeah, today I'm making a gameplay video. I've uh, I've dusted off the balls. <laughs> yeah, I've dusted off uh, three of the balls. This time it's the regular one, the K type and the C type. I'm using the K type as just like Shiramada from the OAFE MS team, and um. Uh, yeah, for some reason this game lets you use the the base jabber, which uh, greatly in, which greatly improves my uh, mobility as a ball because this ball is terrible and cumbersome on on under gravity when it comes to ball firepower because the reload speed is very very long and uh, yeah the firepower ain't much the well, it deals decent damage, but it runs out real fast. And as for mobility, oh damn, I got hit. Ooh, okay, almost got him with with the claws, but I got hit again and I fell. So as I was saying, and as you can see, the thruster gauge, it uh, it depletes real fast on the ground, which. Uh, yeah, the ball's not really supposed to be used on the ground, but I did use it. And, uh, yeah, you might be wondering why I did that. Well, I did that because uh, when you unlock enough mobile suits and when you do, when you do fulfill certain co uh, conditions, then uh, you get a thing in the, I think, the secrets or bonus tab something like that in the shop there's a thing that lets you bypass all the terrain restrictions meaning that you can mess around like that with stuff that isn't supposed to walk on the ground that's uh... that's one of the ways I I kinda messed around uh, with the boss runs I don't have the Rafflesia, which is a shame because uh, now I kind of have to get one. But unfortunately, the part by the name of Neo Psychomu or something like that is uh, is locked behind that, so that's gonna be a pain in the rear because grinding in this game has become quite of a chore for me, and you know I need a break from that. And yeah, now I'm trying to kind of dogfight, kind of not. I mean, the, the, capa the capacity provided by the cannons is nothing much. And as I've uh, mentioned before, the reload speed ain't good either. Anyways, I'll I'll just try that. And uh, yeah, I'm beelining it for the for the aircraft. This Garuda class transport is gonna get some lead and beams thrown its way. And, uh, yeah, I should be destroying that real quick. Once the cannons reload, and uh, now all I have to take care of are the GM2s. That's what I'm gonna do. Cannons finally reloaded, and, uh, yeah, they're running face first into it, which makes my job m much, much easier. And there's uh, one thing which is an unfortunate fact about uh, the beam cannons and other armaments on the subfly systems. They have uh, certain effective angles and uh, you kind of have to line them up, which makes them very situational in some uh, situations while making them versatile in other situations. Well, that's... I guess that's life. Well, try to wallop uh, Camille's... Uh, was that? Uh, oh, that was a Dodai Kai. Anyways, I'm gonna try using my ace in the hole. Just gonna get closer, closer, and now... Let's get bowling. 
And uh, as you can see, I'm also kinda interrupting a little, let's say, a lover's quarrel over here where Camille be done and uh, yeah for our kind of fighting in uh, the Hong Kong city and now I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> resort to fisticuffs because uh, because I, if I were to use the regular thing ooh kudos to four because she gave me some covering fire I don't, otherwise I would be turned into a metal casket and uh yeah, the levels, the level done, and uh, I've successfully beaten the Mark II with nothing but a ball. Well, just gonna wait for the scoreboard, and uh, yeah, that's it. Shirtlight signing out. Thank you for watching.